Back to America right now. It is time for our Patriot of the Week. Each Saturday, we honor a person or a group who's making this country proud by helping others. This week, we salute James Johnson. He is the president and CEO of Operation Gratitude. His organization is on a mission to honor our military and our first responders by creating opportunities for Americans to express their appreciation for our heroes in uniform. Boy, do we need that. That's great. Hundreds of thousands of service members and first responders receive care packages from Operation Gratitude every year because of the generosity of grateful supporters across the country. Since 2003, get this, they have sent well over 3 million care packages to all of our brave men and women who serve and protect our country. Let's welcome James to America right now. James, great to have you with us. Great to be with you, Tom. How are you doing? I'm terrific. Uh, the, the numbers are staggering in terms of the, the people uh, and the care packages and the, what you've been able to mobilize over these years. Take us back to the beginning. How did this all start? Yeah, it's a wonderful story. Um, we do have a humble uh, origin story. You know, after 9-11, Carolyn Blaschick, our founder, was looking for something, some way to serve, as many of us were. And she went into a recruiter station and said, I'd like to, like to join the military. Now, you know, she was in her 40s and uh, wife of, uh, or mother of two children. And, and they, they said, no, you're, you're not in the demographic for us. Uh -huh. And and so she, they sent her on her way, but she was undeterred and, and found a way to serve at a, uh, a military lounge. And in that moment, when she was um, meeting a young service member in 2003, who'd been back uh, in the area for his mother's funeral, his infant child had passed away, his wife had left him, and he was really distraught. In that moment, uh, you know, he said, I'm going over to the war. I don't think I'm coming back, and I don't think anybody will care. And that's when in Carolyn's mind, that idea of Operation Gratitude was born, that no one that serves our country raises their hand to put their life, potentially put their life in harm's way for us, uh, would not believe that we care for them and, and that service that they are um, embarking on. And so that's how it began with four care packages back in 2003. Now, James, you, you've expanded also to first responders as well. So it's not just the military, but now also first responders. What was the impetus for that? that change? Yeah, I mean, it really is, I think, because it's a natural connection to the mission in general, which is that those individuals who raise their hand to, to um, again, potentially put their lives in harm's way, and, and it's really serving a, a greater cause, um, that, that that's the same mission for us. And, and we've been fortunate and, and really privileged to be able to provide opportunities for volunteers all over the country to assemble care packages to, to express that gratitude in a really meaningful way. This is very personal for you. You served in the Air Force for, uh, for, for years, and thank you for your service. Your father served in the Army for more than 20 years. Yeah. Just speaking from the heart, what has it meant for you to be able to, to put a smile on the face of, of so many of our, of our protectors and defenders out there? For sure. Yeah, I did uh, follow in my father's footsteps. I'm proud my son has, has also has joined the military some years ago and is serving in our Air Force overseas. Um, I, I, you know, uh, I've, I've been in those deployed locations where, you know, care packages arrive and you just see the look on individuals' faces when they're receiving something from home. And there's this sense of it's something from home. Um, you know, and I, uh, you know, I call uh, to some of those deployed locations where we've where we've sent some of our care packages, um, just to 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 you know, to ensure that the care packages arrived and, and get a chance to talk to them and and it just it's so meaningful for them. What they tend to say is it's like um, something from home. It's it's a it's a touch of home. It's a taste of home. Um, you know, each of one of those care packages has something that's handmade. All of them have a written, handwritten letter, like you see there. Uh, there's there are corporate uh, corporate sponsors, corporate America, who wants to send a strong message that that all of America is is behind them. And so, whether it's a knit hat uh, or a knit scarf or a handwritten letter or a paracord bracelet or a Starbucks coffee or uh, you know our, our other uh, great partners that are um, putting things in those care packages, Liquid IV and Mars. Mm -hmm. um, um, all of them are saying the same thing, which is um, we really appreciate what you're doing and we want you to know that. When you're, when you're in that situation, little things really mean a lot. When I was in Baghdad, I remember the Marines loved to get double-stuffed Oreo cookies and stuff in the mail. Just little, even 
little stuff right. goes a very long way uh, to put a smile on someone's face and make, let them know that they're loved. Now, James, this is all made possible by a load of hands-on volunteers uh, and people all across the country. Tell us how uh, our viewers can support Operation Gratitude. Well, that's fantastic. None of this would have happened from the first day until now, and all the millions of care packages have been sent without the hands of volunteers. All This really is a volunteer-focused uh, endeavor for us. And, you know, today, uh, we, you know, we sent over 200,000 care packages uh, out last year. Uh, in, the, in the coming years, we'll be uh, upwards of over 1 million care packages per year that we'll be sending, but none of that will be possible without volunteers. So if volunteers want to join us for the journey, if they go to operationgratitude.com or join us on social media, um, there, are, there are a number of ways that you can, uh, you can contribute, whether it's um, something that you're doing, making in your home, whether it's something you're doing as a group with a school, kids or a church or uh, a scout troop, um, there are so many ways for you to, to be a part of this or to, sh to uh, volunteer at one of our assembly events and, and actually put the care packages together. But All if right. you join us uh, out there on the web, there's a lot more you can learn about. OperationGratitude.com, James Johnson, and you and your whole team, you're our patriots of the week. Thank you for joining us and all you do you, to tell our nation's protectors that we love them. It's really needed now more than ever. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.